Uh, awesome stuff. Now, of course, South Africans shocked at large as this past Saturday, the United States government issued a warning to its American citizens here in South Africa of potential terrorist attacks by the Islamic State in the country. And then just recently added to that, the United Kingdom has also sent out a warning to its own citizens regarding potential attacks as well. Upscale shopping malls in Cape Town and Johannesburg are reported to be the most likely targets. Now joining us on the line to tell us a little bit more about this warning and what this exactly means, what we should be doing in the wake of this, is Executive Director at the Institute for Security Studies and Counterterrorism, Anton Duplessis. A very good morning, Anton. Good morning. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Obviously, we know that the Minister of State Security, David Matlobo, says that government has noted the terror alerts and has assured the country that there is no need to panic. How concerned should we be? Uh, indeed, I don't think we should necessarily be panicking, but I think the government uh, needs to communicate more clearly about yeah. what it's actually doing, how it is collaborating and uh, cooperating with uh, US and UK, and now I see also Australian authorities. Um, it's not good enough to say that because we are a social stable democracy that we're not a threat. I think anyone who's been following developments uh, on terrorism anywhere else in the world, and particularly coming out of the, the, um, the developments with ISIS, would know that, um, that in fact terrorism is a threat. And uh, if it's been issued by the U U.S. the way it has been, I think it's something uh, citizens are going to be worried about. I think it's something the government needs to communicate more clearly about in terms of what's actually been done to deal with that threat. Now, we've seen areas, almost soft targets being uh, focus points as well. How much of a target are we? How vulnerable are we against terrorist attacks at the moment? The whole, terror, the whole game of terrorism has changed in recent years with the, way, which the, with the approach that ISIS has taken. Now, traditionally, uh, counter-terrorism analysts have not believed that South Africa has been at the top end of terrorist priorities or targets, and that's because of our foreign policy, the way in which we design our foreign policy, the ideological alignment of our country in terms of uh, some of the key issues that have been at the center of the terrorism problem in, in recent years. But I think ISIS has changed that, and ISIS has made it clear that it wants to hit, to hit targets, Western and U.S. targets, anywhere in the world, wherever it can do so. And if it uh, could do so in South Africa, I have no doubt that it would try and do so. And I think the fact that the U.S. has issued this warning means that it's something we have to take very seriously. To your knowledge, what is government doing at the moment, or at least what should they be doing in the wake of the threat? Um, government's actually doing more than I think it sometimes lets on. I think, uh, I think people uh, who, who, who work with the government agencies know that there's actually quite a lot of cooperation going on between intelligence agencies. I think we learned a lot during the World Cup uh, soccer in 2010, and of course that was a high-risk uh, high environment. So South Africa is actually quite advanced at an operational level. I think the problem is the messaging that's coming out at the political level um, doesn't necessarily align with how much has been done operationally. I think it would uh, be good for the government to communicate that more clearly. I know that politically South Africa does not want to be seen too closely aligned to perhaps the U.S. global counterterrorism uh, response. But I think at this time, considering the threat related to South Africa and potentially South African citizens, it's time to speak more clearly to it, to, to South Africa yeah. about what's been done and actually take us into, comp into the confidence about all the efforts that are being put in place behind the scenes. All right, Anton, thank you so much for shedding some light there. Um, to remain vigilant, however, not to panic. That seems to be the watchword at the moment. Well, now changing lanes completely. It's time to kickstart this day officially with a little music.